Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Sagittarius, I want to wish you guys, every single one of you guys, a happy of holidays to everyone, um, to you and yours. I hope that this new year to come brings to you guys a lot of prosperity, a lot of happiness, and abundance. Also, quick update for those of you guys that are not subscribed to our channel, definitely subscribe so that um, you can get notified of the most recent videos that are going to be going up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, we have the tarot series uh, finally dropping. Um, we're starting off officially on Sunday, so you guys definitely stay tuned to that. Also, the new uh, January 2022 uh videos are going to be coming out for each one of the signs um predicting um and seeing what the planet alignments are going to be bringing to your sign throughout the whole year of 2022 um so you guys definitely stay tuned to that also for those of you guys that follow my social medias if by any chance you come across someone messaging you uh portraying to be me or pretending to be me um, giving you some type of uh, bullshit of if, you know, I, I got a message for you, etc. Please report those accounts. Um, I've had a couple of accounts shut down on Instagram. They were fake. Um, all my social medias are on here. So you can find all of that on my YouTube channel. If you want to double check, make sure you're following the right person. I do not solicit. Um, so just letting you guys know, okay? All right, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? What is unfolding for them for this month, 2021, December 2021, in regards to love and romance? Love and romance. All right, so we're starting off here with the Two of Pentacles, Sagittarius. There is a bit of imbalance going on. Um, this can also represent the partner or person of interest currently has you in a, a feeling of energy of inconsistency. It could be that they are uh, in a situation of having to make a choice and they are refusing to make that choice. I could also represent that they may currently be balancing or dealing with another person other than yourself. So be mindful of that. Now, the next card that we have here is the Ten of Wands, stress, uh, being burdened. I feel like there's going to be not much momentum for you guys for this month um, or the remaining of this month. I see them a bit stagnant. I feel like there is a lot of things that are influencing or going on in their life right now. Could be on a personal level could be career-wise. They may actually be struggling financially as well. Um, so I don't see much progress in that. I feel like they're very much in their head trying to figure out what, what path to take regarding their life, regarding where they're at right now. So there is a lot of internalizing that's going on with them. The next card that we have here is the Prince of Pentacles. So again, stagnant energy. I feel like there's going to be uh, a bit of slowing down that's if you haven't already experienced that they're not very receptive perhaps for some of you guys um not really reaching out i see them more on and it's giving me an energy of like being extremely unhappy where they're at right now um in regards to their life in general i feel that it could be influenced because they feel like they have a lot of financial responsibilities and that's taking up a lot of their energy or a lot of their focus I don't I see them kind of dropping the ball in regards to this connection and it could have a lot to do with again instability in their life now the next card is the four of swords so you guys may be dealing with again the feeling of them not communicating um, for some of you guys there could have been some type of temporary block some type of temporary uh, pulling away I don't see things um, stabilizing for this month of december again i feel like there's a lot of things going on in their life i feel that for some of you guys you may be dealing with a person that is in fact dealing with another person or could be dealing with a past previous uh not previous sorry a past relationship where they're kind of trying to get out of the situation but what i'm hearing 
is they don't really know how to do it. So it could be like they've been dealing with a person from the past, someone that could be potentially connected to them. There may be children involved. There may be baby daddy, baby mama type of energy. Um, and I feel like they're kind of like being practical about how to release themselves from this situation. But uh, it's going to take a while. It's going to take time. So I don't see it unfolding in the month of December. Now, if you are dealing with a situation where the person um, stopped communicating with you or currently you guys are not talking to each other, I don't see them coming towards you for the month of December. I feel like um, it's more so to do with everything that's going on in their life. There's a lot of distractions that are going on. And your oracle card here is, I am sorry. So again, I feel there's not much momentum going on for you guys for this month of December. I feel like they are being pulled or being um, very distracted with what's going on in their life. Um, it's about choices for them. And I feel like they're refusing to make a move or they're refusing to make a choice. Um, although they may still feel that connection or that want to reach out. But I don't see them reaching out with, uh, to you guys for this month of December. So I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.